Hey diddly do everybody this is Dan here from the Herbert T Outdoors channel and today I wanted to give a little bit of a, a tip a DIY a review or whatever you want to call it on my E4K action camera so one of the things that I have uh, run into is the the camera that I use doesn't have a waterproof box but I use it on my kayak and it's a, a low priced camera that you can get that if it takes a, a dive in the, the drink no problem you know you're not out a lot of money and I got this a couple years ago and what we got here is the Yi uh, 4k action camera uh, I got it in the white um, and I'll kind of show you yeah, it's a little hard to see here. The, hard to pick up that, that video, but it is very clear. It's it's as clear as the video that we're seeing here. But anyway, uh, this camera is very easy to use. Uh, I've used a, a lot of uh, other brands and just were not impressed with them I didn't want to spend a lot of money on like I said the GoPros because you know this things two three four hundred dollars depending on which one you go with or whether you find them used or not and uh, so this seems to do a pretty good job now one of the the important things I wanted to point out to you and I'm going to show you this here up close on top you can see you've got your speaker output and you've got a microphone and microphone port or hole on each side to get the stereo effect and this is your main power button it is a uh, touch screen display which is really nice and it has a nice locking feature but it's just a slide lock but uh, really like this camera does a great job of course it's got the the standard mount like most GoPros and it does have the the USB charging port uh, the only thing I don't like about this little door is when it comes time to plug in the charger trying to get that into it with that without that door getting in your way because it j does just barely catch it so it's something to uh, be aware of uh, consider taking it off but then again when I'm out there actually recording in the outdoors I can flip it and close it nicely like that and it protects it but the real thing I wanted to get to today is I wanted to show you what I did to um, basically get around the problem of the the wind blowing that seems to be a, a huge issue in the the outdoors especially um, so one of the things I came up with and I just already had one that I had built and put on there and what this is a little hard to see here let me turn off this secondary light and it's unfortunately it's green so that's why it's blending with the the background here but as you can see and I'm going to turn off my green screen so that you guys can get a better uh, feel for what that is so bear with me just a moment here okay there we go we'll turn that off for a moment so you guys can get a look see all this little fuzzy stuff here on top and what I did was I put some uh, double sided double sided tape on that and then cut out the hole that actually matches up so that my mic ports aren't covered you can see there and one of the things that I found aggravating was trying to find something to cover this that had a 
you, you know, like the fuzzy to, to eliminate the, the sound of the wind blowing. And the cost of getting the ones that are actually for the cameras is very expensive. Um, so what I did, I went out and I found me this little guy here little teddy bear green fuzzy teddy bear and as you can see from this I was able to cut out a, a little patch from it and that's what made my little patch here that goes on top of the camera and again it, it, it does have a, a material on the backing there but it does not seem to affect the sound at all. It does a really good job. I don't hear all kinds of wind noise, things like that. Uh, now granted, you get up uh, 20, 30 mile an hour winds and you're gonna hear it anyway. So, But what this uh, double stick tape that I used works real well is a Scotch Indoor. Uh, See, they're mounting squares. I guess you can get it in the, the roll too. But as you can see, they're just little pieces like that. And I only needed half of it for this. And like I said, it worked out really well. And it, it, it sticks on top of there probably going to go get me another roll and get me the longer version because uh, if, if you'll notice it doesn't completely cover the microphone port and I really want to cover the whole top side of this because uh, it may not make it waterproof but it, it does keep uh, dirt and debris you know if a little wind gets to blow and there's some sand in or, or dust or whatever it'll keep it out of that and, and prolong the life of the camera and so so it's definitely a good camera uh, you guys should check it out I have it in my store uh, the link will be provided down below for you guys to go check it out uh, you'll see that it's definitely a better price than the GoPro camera and like I said, as you can see, it completely covers those ports on it. Uh, it's a little matted down, but just fluff it up a little bit and you're ready to go. Now this is, you'll see this has overhang here uh, on all the sides. I actually decided to leave that because uh, I mount it on a pole on the side of my kayak and it sticks out over the water and then I'll bring the pole into me and unscrew it and then be able to uh, lift that you know unscrew it but the nice thing about it is it, it you know as I'm unscrewing it it gives me a little something to put and hold against it so that it doesn't slip out of my hands and and well, hopefully it doesn't take a drink <laughs> in in the lake but yeah, definitely wanted to show this idea because I've seen a lot of people uh, having to use an external mic on their cameras to get rid of that wind noise, and they'll they'll have the the filter on top of the mic to to do just what this does. But some people are you know really getting into using the cheaper cameras uh, instead of the GoPros and they're looking for a solution for it and a lot of them do not have the the extra audio mic uh, jack on on it to be able to uh, do that recording from the external mic so I'm gonna try to see if I can roll some footage here of this camera when I was out on the water uh, under some you know uh, probably about 10 12 mile an hour winds and let you guys see what that looks like so uh, we'll see if we can't roll some of that footage
Welcome back guys. So I hope you got a good idea of you know how well this camera does by the the video clips that I provided there and just as a side note this uh, background that I have here was also recorded on this camera. Uh, as you can see it's a, a looping motion cam uh, view um, but that was one morning out on the waters the sun had you know started coming up it was up above the horizon so really made for a, a, a beautiful day there to, to get out on the water but uh, so anyway I hope this solution helps you guys out and uh, you know with the the filter there for the wind uh, again, I've got my green screen back on so you can't see it. Uh, it's invisible. Look at that. But uh, <laughs> So anyway, if you guys are interested in getting one of these cameras, you can go to the, the link down below for my merchandise. It'll get you over to uh, my storefront at uh, kit.com forward slash Herbert T. Outdoors and you you look in the camera stuff and you will see this camera you will also see the micro SD cards that I use with it and you will also see the additional uh, charger with two batteries that I got to work with this camera so it works out pretty good um, I hope you guys get a chance to check that out maybe it's something you're interested in and if so uh, if you happen to pick it up there, it does help out the channel and, and help us out to uh, fund some of our adventures. So I appreciate it if you would check that out. All right, until then, we'll see you on the waters, tight lines, and always remember, keep Jesus in your life. Have a good one.